Leah with Around the Table and I'm in the kitchen today showing you how to make a finishing sauce with Marsala wine. It's going to be delicious. So let's get started with our Marsala wine finishing sauce. I've got olive oil in my pan and I've got my heat up to about a medium heat. I want to go ahead and get some of my flavorings in and so I'm going to start with onion. You could always chop an onion if you wanted to, but I like to grate my onion. That way you have lots of great onion flavor but you don't have chunks of onion in your finished sauce. So that's a great technique to use really anytime you're cooking anything that you don't want chunks of onion in. So I've added my onion. I'm gonna add some garlic, about one clove of garlic crushed, and I'm just gonna move it around the pan. I'm not really gonna cook it here. I'm just gonna kinda get it warm. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some flour. And I'm adding the same amount of flour as I have olive oil. And in this case, it's about two tablespoons each. And I'm just gonna cook for just a minute until that flour um, gets the cooked flavor off of it. And so next I'm gonna add my Marsala wine. And I'm just gonna add it right in. You'll hear a little sizzle. And we're just gonna move that around the pan and get that all incorporated. And you're gonna really start to smell that wine. It actually smells wonderful. And you're gonna also start to see it thicken right away. And the last ingredient we're gonna to add to our sauce is some beef broth. And I've warmed my broth, and what that does is it just lets it incorporate into the sauce a little nicer. That way you can just add it in all at once and cook until it's nice and thick and bubbly. And again, I'm Lori Fangio, and we've been in the kitchen making a finishing sauce with Marsala wine. I hope you'll take the time to get your family around the dinner table. See you next time.